In this video, I'm going to show you how to create looping text on a path in Adobe After Effects. So you can do a circle, square, or custom. And you can do other things like, you know, put a video inside of it. So I'm just going to start from scratch on a new composition. So you can just go to composition, new. Uh, I'm working on 1920 by 1080, but you can use whatever size you want. And also the duration, this is going to be 30 seconds just for sample, but you can use whatever length you need or want. So once I press OK, you should have your new composition. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a text layer. So I'm going to grab my text tool from the top toolbar. And I'll click and write out a sample text of my choice. I'm going to write out text border. I'm just using all caps for my look. And in the right hand side, you can open the character panel and choose whatever font and size you want. So I'm just using Helvetica bold. And you can also increase the size and whatnot. But we'll wait to adjust that after we set the path. So now if we also head up to the top bar and choose from our different shapes, so we can use ellipse, rounded rectangle, rectangle, or even our pen tool, we can simply create a path. So in this case, I'll use the ellipse tool. And if I hold shift, that'll actually make it a perfect circle. And I'll create a circle of about the size that I want. So now we have that. Right now it's at acting as a mask. And you can kind of, since I have the text layer highlighted, that's the default thing it will do is act as a mask. But if I actually click on the text layer and drop down its contents, open up the path options, and choose path to be that mask one that we just created, now it'll use that path as the path to write the text along. And we have a few other parameters in here as well. So right now you can see it's already working. It's got the text inside of there, but you can reverse the path because I kind of want it on the outside, not the inside. So that's up to you. And you can also choose to keep it perpendicular. So like everything's still straight or keep it along like that. Just a different stylistic touch. And you can force alignment as well. So this will just kind of spread it out to be that circle. However, if we do use this force alignment feature, we're not going to be able to animate it in, in the easiest way that we want. So I'm actually going to turn that force alignment feature off. And I'm going to use the more manual alignment option of just adjusting the size and copy and pasting as much as I need. So if I highlight it, Command C, um, leave a space, I can kind of copy and paste. And there might be overlap, but Here's where you can start to adjust the size. You can highlight all the text and adjust the size so that it fits. Now how we're going to animate this is in the first margin section. You see it's at zero, but if I push it forward, you can see it'll just keep shifting that margin over, essentially giving us a looping rotation. Now you could add keyframes by just clicking the stopwatch icon, moving over however many seconds you need and then moving the parameter forward however much you need. But then you'd have to add keyframes uh, for as long as you want. And this could be a cool way to make it go slower or faster. But what I'll do instead, since we're in After Effects, is use an expression. So if I just hold Option on my keyboard and click on that keyframe, that stopwatch icon, instead, instead of adding a keyframe, it'll allow me to add an expression. And I can just do something simple like Time multiplied by, we can do 200. So now every one second, it'll increase the margin by 200 points. And in that case, this gives us about this average speed. If I wanted to make it slower, I can only multiply it by 100 points a second. And that'll give us a slower speed. And so in this way, and you can make it faster or slower just by changing the multiplication number. But in this way, we don't have to add keyframes. It'll just as the time goes on, it'll continually gain 100 points. So that's a cool way to just animate it. And aside from just working with circles, this also works with rectangles as well or whatever other one of these shape tools. So say I did a rectangle. You see now we have two masks. We have this new one that I just created and the old one. Uh, I can just delete the old one if I want and ch change the mask path to be this new one. Now I will have to adjust again, like reverse the path and uh, adjust the text size, or if I wanted to keep it the same size, just make a couple more pastes of the text and then tweak it. 
but we have the same thing going on here. I'll just have to add the expression to the first margin. So time times whatever number I want. And now we have another thing. This one's kind of cool because it almost feels like uh, the letters are falling off gravity style. I really like that. And uh, another cool trick if you want to add a video inside is to drag a video clip and then just use the same masking technique. So grab my rounded rectangle and kind of just create a mask of the video. So now we almost have this text border on this masked video, which can make for some pretty cool things. You can also right click on the text and add layer styles onto it. So if I want, I can add an outer glow or a stroke or whatever else. And you can always change the color of the text as well inside the character panel and add whatever other effects you want since we're already in After Effects. Also remember you can use the different tools like the star tool or the pen tool as well. So if I highlight the text and grab my pen tool, I can create my own custom shapes and same thing. We see that new mask appear in our text masks and I can just choose the path to be mask three instead. We get the same idea and we can adjust it in the same way, even though that's a kind of a messy heart going on there. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you can subscribe to my channel and check out the playlist for a bunch more. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.